Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how to use the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and combine it with the Ordinary as Lake Acid Suspension 10%. And I'm going to go through it step by step and using this combination is actually really effective if you are suffering for example from blemishes or you have active acne to also reduce the look of it or if you have like textural irregularities and you want to smoothen your skin texture plus it also can help you to unclog the pores and also brighten and even out your skin tone. So if those are your skin concerns you may want to look into combining the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and as like acid suspension in the same routine. That's fine. And if you're going to use those two products and you're going to get started with it so that you also can adjust it based on your skin and needs and your skin tolerance, it is really important that you find a way how it works the best for you, plus that you're going to stick to it for at least four to eight weeks because over that time you will be able to also see some improvements. It won't happen overnight, which is something that's easily mistaken and then you may think like the product doesn't work. But if you're giving it some time until your skin can also like adjust to the product it also can work and it also can show you some improvements and so therefore being patient when using those two products together is really important now I'm going to get started with the first step, which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser. I have here, for example, the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, which is also suitable for all skin types. And it is also a very gentle cleanser. Now, since we're already using the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant, which is basically salicylic acid, it is already an acid that exfoliates the skin, so therefore it is important that you're going to stick to a gentle cleanser that doesn't include a glycolic acid, salicylic acid or lactic acid to exfoliate the skin. This is really important because we don't want to irritate the skin. We just want to make sure that we are using products based on the skin concerns to make it also more effective. So therefore, since we're using a liquid exfoliant, stick to a gentle cleanser. Now I have already washed my face and it is really important to start off with washing your face to remove any excess oil, dirt, leftovers of your makeup as well as sunscreen since you are using also the cleanser in the morning and or evening depending also on your skin and needs. So before you're applying any other skincare products on top which you're going to leave on the skin, make sure that you also have a freshly washed and clean face. Now if you have a different cleanser at home that's totally fine, go with the one that you also like the most, just make sure that it's also a gentle one. Now after you have washed your face, you have pat the skin dry, then you can immediately move on to the next step, which also now would be applying the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. So there's no need to wait in between, you can immediately move on to the next step. Now, when also using exfoliating acids such as the BHA, which is salicylic acid, for the first time, it is important that you're going to get started uh, in a very like um, slowly manner so that you can see how your skin responds to the acid. If you're already using some um, acids in the past and your skin is also maybe used to it, you may have a different start than someone that's new to exfoliating acids. So therefore, I do want to break it down and be very specific about it. So when using the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant for the first time, first of all, I always recommend doing a patch test on the upper form area, which I can also link in the top right corner before you're using it on your face, just to make sure that no irritation or swelling or like an allergic reaction can happen. And then if you're done with the patch test, you also may then want to get used to also using it on your face. Now, when using it for the first time on your face, I recommend use it once, let's say um, on Monday. And then when you're using it on Monday, use it on a smaller area so that you also can see and feel how it also works with your skin. And then give it a few days, like three to four days, um, let's say Thursday or Friday, see how your skin reacts to it. If no reaction has happened and you think that your skin is fine with it, then you can use it again and again. Wait a few days in between to see how it like, basically also um, makes it noticeable on your skin. So that you also get an idea and feeling of how the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant may also work for your skin. Now, 
when using it for the first time. I do also want to demonstrate it. You can also apply the liquid exfoliant either with your hands or fingers or also with a cotton pad. Now I recommend it also when starting with it and you want to try it out on a smaller area, um, let's say I have a few blemishes right here as well as on my chin, you may also want to try it at first on an area that has a few blemishes or active acne going on so that you can see how it feels on the skin and also how it behaves on the skin. So go ahead and take a cotton pad or you may also want to dispense a small amount on your finger if you like to. I just prefer a cotton pad because it's less like of a mess that you can use a small amount of it and then use it specifically on those spots. And once you have applied it for the first time, you may also just leave it, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off and then give it also some time, some days in between to also have a proper break so that you can see how it behaves on your skin. Now once you've done that, let's say two times to also get a feeling of it, you then can also start using it, maybe also more often. Now when it comes to how often you should use the BHA liquid exfoliant, this is very individual. It is really important to start off slowly if you're a beginner to it, but if you have already some previous experience with some exfoliating acids, you may already know how your skin is going to react to it, so you may have a different start and you may also be able to use it already more often, since it's nothing new to your skin. However, I do recommend that you're going to get started with let's say two to three times per week. Use it for a while, see how it feels on the skin, see how your skin responds to it. If nothing happens at all, you may be able to also use it more often throughout the week. This is very individual and this also depends on your skin itself. Some people prefer to use it two to three times per week, whereas others can use it daily. And there's nothing wrong with it, there's no right and wrong, it just depends on your main concern and what your skin can tolerate. So therefore it is recommended to start off slowly to find the right balance for you. You may also be able to just use it four times per week instead of using it daily, that's fine too. So if you feel like your skin feels a bit more irritated, reduce the frequency of it. If you feel like your skin can tolerate it more often, you can increase the frequency of it. So that's really important that you also get a feeling of it. Now, there are different ways on how you can also use the salicylic acid depending also on your skin concerns. Let's say you're mainly going to use it to also reduce the look of blemishes and active acne in general. Some people may have active acne all over the face, where you also could go ahead and use the BHA liquid exfoliant all over your face. However, some people, as for myself as well, I always just get a few, but they're never really at the same spot. So sometimes people have it, for example, on their chin and neck area, where they have like a few breakouts all together, whereas other ones have a few here, a few there. So you can use it as a spot treatment for this specific concern, or you can use it all over the face, depending also on your needs. So when also using it for a specific spot, again, you can use it on a cotton pad or your finger and just gently also use it on those specific spots. Now, one thing that I currently like to do, it doesn't really have anything to do with acne, but I have the white spots close towards the eye contour right here. And I'm currently been using the BHA liquid exfoliant on a cotton pad like this and then just use it right here where I really need it. And I do not really feel the need to use it all over, but only just on specific areas. And with the Paula's choice to present BHA liquid exfoliant, you can use it on the eye contour. That's fine, they do mention it. You can use it on the eye contour. However, do not use it on your eyelids and do not bring it too close to the actual eye area and do not get it into your eyes. That's really important when also using it. Now, I'm just giving you an example. If you want to use it all over your face, go ahead, use a cotton pad, a fresh one, or you may also want to dispense some product in the palm of your hand. Then use your hands together and then gently press it all over and then gently blend it into the skin. That's fine too. If that's something that you prefer, that you used to do with your toners or exfoliants, go ahead and do so. Just make sure that you're not bringing it too close around the mouth area itself and do not bring it too close to the eye area itself when also applying it with your hands. Therefore, I still also prefer to use a cotton pad because then I have a bit more control of where I'm using it. So I'm going to dispense some product onto the cotton pad. 
about a coin size amount is something that you can start with and then see how it also feels on the skin and how far you can come with it. If you want to include it with your neck and maybe decolletage area, depending also on your skin concerns, you may also want to use a bit more. Now some people may also suffer from a few blemishes or active breakouts also on their neck area or maybe also decolletage or chest area. So you can also use the BHA on those areas as well. This depends of course on where you have like the main problems. Again, you can use it as a spot treatment, but you can also use it all over your face. Now once you also have applied it and you're done with the application of the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, you're going to leave it on the skin. This is a leave-on exfoliant, which means there's no need to also wash it off. So let's say you're going to use this routine in the evening. You're going to leave it on the skin as you're applying it in your evening skincare routine and then you're also going to leave it on the skin when you're sleeping like you're going to leave it on the skin overnight and then the next morning when you're washing your face again you're going to remove everything so this is really specific this is a leave-on exfoliant so there's no need to rinse it off immediately just the next day or in the evening depending also on when you're using it and i will get into this topic as well now once you are done with the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, you now can also go ahead and move on to the Ordinary as Lake Acid Suspension. Now this has a little bit more of a cream-like texture, which you can use also all over your face and neck area, or maybe also only on a specific area like your neck or face area only. That's totally fine, it doesn't have to be all over your face and neck like all together. This is very individual. So it's really important to understand that you can also use the products depending on your needs. You don't always have to use it all over. You can also just use it for a spot treatment. So let's say you have a smaller area around the cheek area since I have a few right here or also the chin. Then you can also go ahead and use a very small amount on your finger and then just apply it on those specific areas. That's fine too, you don't have to use it all over the face. If you only have the main problem on a specific area. So that's fine too. However, depending also on your skin concerns or you have textured skin all over or you want to have an evened out skin tone all over, not only on a specific area, of course you can also go ahead and use it all over your face and neck. Again, this is very individual. Now when using it on your face and neck, you want to use about a pea size amount, depending also on if you're going to include your neck with it and maybe also decolletage area, you may want to use more. However, about a pea size it should be also a good start to get an idea of what it feels and also how far you can come with the application. And again, you can use this one all over. Please make sure to not get it too close to the eye. Do not use it on the eyelid area and do not get it into your eyes. So, and once you're done with the application, again, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now, there's also one more thing that I wanna address, and this is also when you can use it. Well, first of all, the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and as lake acid suspension can make your skin sensitive to the sun. So it's really important that in case you may want to use this combination in the morning, which is fine, but please make sure to also use as your last step the sunscreen on top. Therefore, I recommend, especially if you want to get used to it and also get an idea of how the products may work for your skin, that you're going to start off with using it in the evening. Since in the evening, as you're going to do your skincare routine just before going to bed, there's no need to use a sunscreen um, and it also can work effectively also overnight. So this is also a great start to have an idea of and get a feeling about the different products. I recommend starting off with using those two in combination also 
in the evening. And then once you're getting a feeling of it, how it also works, and depending also on how often you can use the different products, depending also on your skin itself, you can also use it in the morning. But don't forget your sunscreen as your last step. So when using your cleanser, the BHA liquid exfoliant and then the azelaic acid suspension, you're going to use the sunscreen on top of the azelaic acid suspension. And in the evening, the azelaic acid suspension is your last step. Now, this is a great combination for all skin types. However, you're maybe also a little bit more likely to experience those skin issues and skin concerns in general if you're having a little bit more of an oilier skin type. Um, therefore, this also may be a great combination if you're having oily skin, since then you also may not feel the need to use a moisturizer in between. So if you have a little bit more of an oilier skin type, you're fine to also just use it as I already showed you. However, since for example, for me as well, I can get dry on my cheek area and around the mouth area as I have a combination skin, you may want to add, depending on your skin type, also a moisturizer in between. But this is of course optional and you can try it without a moisturizer, see how it feels on the skin. As for now, for example, I don't feel the need to also use a moisturizer as it feels great. However, if you have really dry skin or dehydrated skin, you may also find it a little bit like more comfortable also on the skin to use a moisturizer in between. And when using the moisturizer, which can be also used in the morning or evening, depending also on when you're using the skin carotene, you can use it before or after the like acid suspension. Try both ways. Try it also once without the moisturizer and see what feels the best. There's no right and wrong. So the way that you could use it is for example cleanse your face, use the BHA liquid exfoliant, use your moisturizer and then the Aslake acid suspension on top. And then if you're using it in the morning don't forget your sunscreen as your last step in your skincare routine. If you want to do it the other way around you can go ahead and start off with your cleanser make sure that it's a gentle one that doesn't include any like uh, BHA acids or AHA acids. Then you use your 2% BHA liquid exfoliant, use your azelaic acid suspension and then use the moisturizer on top and lastly also in the morning your sunscreen. So there are different ways on how you can use it if you want to include your moisturizer as well. Try all the different methods and see what works the best for your skin. Now this is also how you can properly also introduce the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant into your skincare routine and that there's no right and wrong on how often you're going to use it during the week. Some people really can tolerate it daily and there's nothing wrong with it if that's what their skin likes, if that's also what the skin needs, then use it daily. However, listen to your skin, look out for your skin. If you can see or feel an irritation, then you may also want to reduce the frequency of it. With azelaic acid, you can also use azelaic acid once or twice per day. There's nothing wrong with it. Just make sure that in the morning, since it can make your skin sensitive to the sun, that you also don't forget to use your sunscreen in the morning as well, even if you're just using azelaic acid alone. And for example, in the evening, want to include the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant as well. So there you have different options on how you can also combine those two in the same routine and that you can use them. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. If you have those specific concerns, you may also want to take a picture um, from the first day you're going to use those products and then after like once a week, you're going to take a picture of your skin so that you also can see for yourself if you can see some improvements and also how it has improved your skin over time. But be patient, it won't happen overnight. Give it at least four to eight weeks to also see some changes on your skin. Now this is also what I wanted to share with you. I do also hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please also don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye.